Let's get on to NA. Not as many 1 and 1 teams there. We got some 2 and 0s and some 0 and 2s. Coming in at that top spot, I don't know how you don't put Liquid. They completely dismantled TSM. They struggled a bit against Optic, actually quite a bit against Optic. That was a very back and forth game that they could have legitimately lost. But uh, they do come out with the clean 2 and 0. Most of that because of the dismantling of TSM. Echo Fox in at number 2. Now, they didn't have a tough schedule by any means, FlyQuest and Clutch Gaming, but the sheer dominance that they showed in those games just completely destroyed them. Again, very reminiscent of that 2016 Immortals roster. They do have two players from that squad in Huni and Adrian. They looked super solid in those games, and I'm curious to see them against some of the top-tier teams in NA. Cloud9, also 2-0. They knocked off CLG and the Golden Guardians. Uh, not the toughest schedule, obviously CLG is a solid squad, but Cloud9 looks very good. Jensen, pretty much no drop off from 2017, and I already highlighted Licorice, he was very impressive. And Sven Skarin, uh, not at his best that I think we're going to see with him on Cloud9, but people were sleeping on them, saying that they're done. They look pretty good. 100 Thieves, didn't expect them to go 2-0. Uh, they had that, again, another slugfest with Optic that didn't instill too much face, but then they played a really solid game against CLG and uh, just really were able to snowball that early lead in that bottom lane. Then we got CLG, which I know, we got them ahead of a couple teams that actually have some wins while CLG is 0-2, but they, they had a legitimate chance in that Cloud9 and 100 Thieves game. They had an early lead in that C9 one and maybe could have won that game if they played it a little cleaner, but. Cloud9 played a pretty solid game, but CLG, I don't think you can be too disappointed in both of those games. There's clearly signs there that this is going to be a solid team, and don't expect them to have, be winless for much longer. FlyQuest, they got completely destroyed by Echo Fox, but they beat TSM after getting behind a few gold early on, so you got to have them coming in at number six. Clutch, uh, I mean, they beat Golden Guardians, which, as you can see, are in at number 10 on these power rankings, so not a big time win and they got pretty destroyed by Echo Fox again. I am shocked that Phoenix just won that mid lane matchup pretty much by himself and handily so did not see that coming. Optic first 0-2 team but they were in both of their games against two playoff teams. Team Liquid they really gave them a run for their money and they took 100 Thieves to a 60 plus minute game so I was very happily surprised by the performance of Optic. Power of Evil we knew he'd have to be the main carry on that team. He looked great, but Arrow looked a lot better than he did in 2017 summer. Zeke and Acadian were decent. Lemonation continues to die a lot. All right, TSM. They're in at number nine. They went 0-2. They got completely destroyed by Liquid. Completely destroyed. Had no chance in that game. And then they just, they had a lead against FlyQuest and just kind of sat back and waited for them to make a mistake. Who knows, but they they did not look solid in that macro game at all. They didn't know how to build on their couple thousand gold lead early on, and they were just playing way too passive. Clearly still a lot of things they have to figure out going forward. I fully expect them to climb up much higher in these power rankings over the next couple weeks and be in that top three. But after week one, they did not leave much to be desired for this dream team lineup. They did not look very good. But they're gonna climb their way back out of there. Golden Guardians, whew, I don't know if they're climbing their way much higher than that. The only team without an import, and that's probably why they're gonna be near the bottom for the majority of the split. I don't see them getting outside of the bottom three uh, going forward, so. That's after week one. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.